Hello, Sneaky Pea Mafia. This is Dick Buchanan here with the Buchanan Custom Cues. Um, seen a couple posts um, last, I believe it was last week, where people was talking about the joint pins of the cue and how different ones make different feels in the cues. I've got a little bit of different input on this uh, because truly the pin, all it really does is allows the cue to be together. Um, now, I'm not saying that the pins are, are the same, um, but they do they do do the same purpose all every time every one that I've ever installed. The only purpose that it is is to adjust for weight. Um, of course, it is a convenience for the customer if they have you know the same threaded shaft, um, and of course. For the most part, the pen is just for holding the cue together. Now, with that being said, the main difference between the cue, the, the pens that you see in front of us, I've got 3 8 10 on the, my right here. I've got a Unilock and I've got a 5 16 pen here. Now, Unilock and 5 16 and your 5 16 14, which I, I'm, I'm currently out of, Really, really, some of the, the three common uh, used bra uh, pins with a brass insert, and basically what that is is you'll actually insert these brass inserts into into the shaft. Now, for me, I, I f being that I, I I like a wood to wood connection, and I'll show you this here in a second. I don't particularly like these pins. Um, I think they give uh, they they kind of stop the the hit from going through the cube. Now, with that being said, let me see if I could show you guys what I mean by wood to wood. I made this cutout, of course. Uh, I'll see if I can zoom in here. My primary pin that I use is 3 8 10. And the reason why is I do like a wood to wood connection. Now, when I say wood to wood connection, that is primarily, if you see where I made the mark at here, I made a mark on here. Right here, where my pinky's at, is the surface that's technically going to meet the other surface of the cube, wood to wood. Because typically we're going to have a joint on here, whether it be a phenolic. I mean, it could be a phenolic joint. It could be an imitation ivory joint. Um, it could be even a softer phenolic. Okay, I'll get back to that in a second. Okay, so back to that. There's not much of that that's actually going to be wood to wood, but it is actually, once you hit the tip of the cube, it will actually coil down and go right through the wood of the cube, not the pin. It will not, this pin does not do anything other than connects the wood together. That's it. That's all it does. And here, I'll show you. I'll try to do it. As slow as I possibly can here. You can kind of see standard pins like this really loose. I've got another another pin that's a little different, but we're almost to the part here. As you can tell, all this pin is doing is holding holding this on. That's it. That's all it's doing. It's holding the shaft onto the cube. So a little bit tighter. And you start to see. I'm going to show you the light. Alright. Now we're going to close that gap. Alright. Now what I've got is a wood, wood to wood connection. Hope you all see that and, and understand what I'm, I'm, I'm explaining to you here. 
I might just send this to Garrett first. I don't know. But it's, uh, it's a nice bit of information for those of you that, that play uh, with different pens. What does make a difference that I found throughout the years of, of, of me playing, which I'm not, I know I'm not very old, but um, my grandfather taught me. He, he was a cue builder as well. Um, this is imitation ivory. It is a hard material, but it's also a soft material. So if you notice, I've actually put uh, aluminum rings back here behind there, and then I've got another sliver of imitation ivory. Believe it or not, this actually creates a different feel in the cue as well. Um, different combinations of rings and different joint material makes a really big difference. It does make a flashier cue, it makes a nicer cue, but it does make a difference in the hit. Okay. Um, the only downfall to a 3 8 pin is give joint protectors. If you've got a 3 8 10 pin and a 3 8 11 pin or a 3 8 14 Q-Tech, Please be sure that you have a joint protectors, okay? Um, you have to have joint protectors. I'm going to sit this down. I'm going to stop the video uh, for a few seconds. Uh, it takes a little bit to load, so uh, I'll be right back, okay?